Hey guys, Paul Pluto on the Paul Pluto channel. Today, guys, doing a quick paid review. Paid review. Quick, 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 quick. Quick wristwatch check. I'm wearing a Breitling Super Ocean Heritage 2. Today, guys, I'm doing a review. This is for my good friend. This is my good friend, James from Just My Opinion UK. <clears throat> now, he went ballistic with his own YouTube channel. He's kind of shrunken back a bit. And uh, I, I, I emailed him and got some bit of a, a follow-up there. And uh, he says, Hi, Archie. I hope you're well. I've sent you 20 US dollars in the hope you do a video. Yes, this was the old pricing, so that's okay. Cool, cool, cool. First of all, how the devil are you? Uh, how am I? Look, I've just had a court case that's ended. The government was after me. Believe you me, they were after me. Uh, I've just gotten over that. I was eating too much. Comfort eating. Uh, my life is a bit of a mess, but I'm starting to come good. Uh, he says, I've been off YouTube for a year now. I got sick of the YouTube idiots who spend their free time trolling others. I agree. Seeing as I do my YouTube as a hobby and free of charge, I thought I should entertain the people who remind me of the yellow stain around the toilet, which won't budge. Toilet scum, I believe, is what they're called. Anyway, I'm back. I've always kept up to date with your videos whilst I've been enjoying my YouTube retirement. My collection has changed somewhat. Yes, this is an interesting thing. Since we last spoke, you may remember I was trying uh, the watch for life for life thing. It failed miserably. A no date ceramic submariner is not good enough for life. Ooh, no. If you enjoy watches, then it's more like an addition than a hobby. One watch just won't quench the f I agree, Sunshine, I agree. I'm interested in your opinion with my current collection and one future purchase. I've currently got Rolex Ceramic Submariner No Date, Tudor Pelagos Left Hand Drive In-House Movement, Omega Speedmaster Professional, the Moon Watch, and a Rolex GMT Master 2 BLNER Batman. Uh, he goes on, so, so, um, what can I say there? Well, he goes on to say, the Palagos is on borrowed time. I'm not feeling love for it. It's a great bit of kit, but not very easy on the eye. Should I, I should have gone for a Black Bay 58, but had my heart turned by the tool watch factor of the Palagos. I'm thinking the Pelagos should be out and I need another fourth watch to add in. I'm not a dress watch type of guy. I'm active and rarely dressed up, so everything able to take a beating would be better. I've got the iconic chronograph, the GMT and Diver. Maybe something vintage, but still purpose-built. What's your thoughts? Your opinion on the collection and what to do, what to get next, please, Paul. My head is being slightly turned by the new Seamaster Omega to bring out in Basel World 2018. But Omega annoy me with all the different variants and limited editions. Open to the Pontiff's opinion from one YouTuber to another. Cheers, Archie. Keep up the good work and don't let the trolls grind you down. I look forward to your video reply. Kindest regards, your English pal, James Just my opinion UK thank you so much well James thank you for the opportunity it means a lot to me that you've come to me and I, I gotta honestly tell you a submariner no date tick that's a fucking fantastic piece uh, Pelagos left hand drive I love it left hand dive dive drive um, I, I gotta be honest with you the Pelagos has always been something the left-hand drive one, I think, is titanium from memory. I kind of prefer... I'm a bigger, bigger guy. So, instead of going for the 58, I like the burgundy... The burgundy black bay. It's a big, beefy sort of fucker. Great piece. Uh, the Pelagos, look... I quite like the Pelagos. I wouldn't just... I, I wouldn't walk out on it. I, I, I'd uh, put it away for a little bit and see if the love is fading or what. Uh, the Omega Speedmaster, man on the moon. Moon watch, moon watch, moon watch, moon watch. Yes, 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 yes. One of the greatest iconic 
chronographs of all time. How could you not love that watch? I love the Speedy. Great piece, the Speedy. And uh, then you've got the Batman, which I think the Batman is the, the best ceramic Rolex. I think out of all the ceramic, the super, the maxi dial, the super case, Batman is the, the best. Okay, so that, that's that's my opinion. You've got a beautiful collection. Now, i got to be honest with you. I don't know if I would be selling something to buy the next. I kind of I kind of think, okay, you may not be feeling the love for it, but I think you're better off to hold, okay? It sounds like you may have bought these newish, which you don't really... I mean, the, the Pelagos is actually... It's holding its own. They're, they're a little... I got a friend... In Australia, I got someone in Sydney who's trying to sell one. He said he's having a bit of trouble. But I think he's just... He's asking too much. The Pelagos has gotten a little bit soft because Tudor has brought out the Black Bay 58. They've got the Tudor Pepsi. They've, they've added a bit too much stuff to, for, that, for that market segment there. But... I'd be keeping it. I would be keeping it. I don't know if I'd be selling it. I'd be adding another one. Well, don't, don't believe this bullshit, the small compact collection. That's for losers, losers, losers to say. <laughs> That's what losers preach. You're going forward or you're going backwards. Losers, losers. Don't listen to losers. Um, I would be saying to you, I would be like I would be. There's no way in the world I'd get rid of the ceramic date. Keep that. That sub. Keep that. Keep the Amiga Speedmaster and keep the Batman. The Pelagos. I'd, I'd like to keep the Pel. I'd like to keep a Tudor in the in the fold. I think it's a great. It's a very different type of watch. Um. What would I get now? You're, you're saying. See, I, I I I love I love the Reverso. I think a Reverso would go great. Icons. Icons. You look at your collection. Icons, icons. Ceramic sub, that's an icon. The Speedy's an icon. The Batman's an icon. Okay. The Pelagos, uh, maybe get rid of it and get a 58. Okay. But I still think you're yearning for another watch. <laughs> okay. Life is short. Come on, man. You know this. My life is very fucking short. James, work with me. Work with me, not against me. I would say get rid of the Pelagos. Get a fifty-eight because I think you're a, you're not a you're not a big guy. You're kind of a small. You know, <laughs> I gotta re reboot the weight loss program. Don't talk to me about that. I, I know all about it. But you're quite quite you're blessed with the good genes. Um, I, I reckon if you don't like the Pelagos, get a fifty-eight. But that's not gonna solve the answer. We still need to add another watch. What would I add? You know, I think we need to add icons. Icons! Icons! What would I add? What would I add here? You know what I reckon I'd add if I were you? Something for you? I reckon you're crazy enough. So, those four, we're not going to just get rid of the... Get rid of the Pelagos, get a 58, but you're going to get another watch. You want more watches. That's what's going to make you happy. See, it's the, it's the yin and the yang. You need more. I'll tell you what you add. I'll tell you what you need to add, Sunshine. Let me give you the drum. Let me give you the drum. Da 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 da! Zenith! We need to add a Zenith. Because this Zenith would be a sports watch. It's high end horology. That's mine. It's a Chrono Zenith Chrono Master. That's what I'd be adding. The Zenith Chrono Master. This is the 1969. Um, it's just gorgeous. They do it in a 38 mil, which is gorgeous on a bracelet. It doesn't have the open the open heart there. Uh, it's also beautiful. The Zenith got the El Primero movement. That's what I'd be adding. That's a piece of that's hort horology. That's a watch for weeses. You got to be a weese to buy a Zenith. Try and get it second hand. Look at Chrono 24. 20, 24 Chrono 24. Um, that's what I'd be doing. I'd be adding I'd be adding a Zenith El Primero. That's what I'd add. 
I reckon something zany to get you rebooted into the hobby. Reboot! Reboot that fucker! Reboot! Reboot that fucker! <coughs> that's what I'd be doing. Reboot the hobby! Come on, man, that's what I'd be doing. Reboot, reboot, reboot. Uh, I wouldn't make that the fourth watch, I'd make it the fifth watch. Because that's also, if you get it on the leather strap, the zenith on the leather strap, that's, that's fucking dressy. That's dressy. I reckon that's dressy. I got the 42, but you can get it as a, th as a 38. That would be perfect. Absolutely perfect. What else would I say is cool to have there? Um, what else is cool to have? I mean, if you're a real technical fucker, maybe something. Maybe something from IWC. That's for real technocrats. You know, if you're really into precision German but want to be Swiss. It's real cool. IWC, very, a little bit soft at the moment. So you can haggle like a bitch. Get a good deal. Uh, I'd be adding to the collection, man. Don't fucking... This small compact collection bullshit. That's for losers. That's for losers, fuckers. Losers! That's for losers. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Add more. More is better. You can never have too many watches. Remember that, fuckers. You can never have too many watches wisp watchers so that's the advice that's my advice i'm paul pluto this is the paul pluto channel paid reviews tell me what you fuckers think of that like subscribe tell your fuckhead friends don't forget to press that bell <coughs> to get updates on videos i release and don't forget fuckaroonies 50 us dollars i do paid reviews i tell you what i think of your collection answer your problems i'll give it all a go paul pluto the greatest YouTube guru of all time. Fuckaroonies!